Hey, hello and welcome to my second video. The first one I was making a few weeks ago about reacting on a hair fail and I was quite happy with the result and I was very happy with your comments and so I will making a second video uh, on this channel in English. What do you think about my new setup? For the first video I was not so quite happy with the setup. It was a little dark but now I have a new background a new setting so let me know in the comments what do you think about this setting and today I will take you to the worst comb overs. Do you know what a comb over is? I will show you. This is like a comb over. It's really nice. It's really nice hairstyle but for men unfortunately at a certain age uh, you lose your hair. It's not easy. I'm the last person to say it is easy to do all your hair off. I will show you with a new top 10 of the worst uh, comb overs that it is worse to walk like this than to take all your hair off. If you are losing your hair you have two uh, possibilities that you can do or you can hold on to the little piece of hair you have left and you can create a comb over to cover up the baldness. Let me tell you now, it's not so pretty. You will have to see on the picture that they make from you. For me it was the same thing. They took a picture of me and I decided from, okay, this is not nice anymore. So I have to shave it off. Did I like it in the beginning? No. Did my wife like it? No. She laughed at me for quite some time. But I get used to it and this is now my look and I'm happy with it. So, I created a top 10 to show you that it's not okay to do a comb over if you are losing all your hair on the top. So let's begin with number 10. So this is an example of somebody is losing uh, their hair, they letting the sides grow longer and they comb it over and they think they think, if they look in the mirror, they think it's okay. It's not okay. I always wonder if there's nobody, friends or family or partner or somebody, that are saying, nope, it's not okay to do this anymore. Don't walk like that. So this is our number 10, because it's a traditional comb over. Let's go to number nine. This is a little more creative, let me say this. So instead of combing it from the sides, he decides to comb it all to the front. But then, let's, let's take a closer look. Up! So it's like a comb over with a twist. I also noticed that he's the father of a Minecraft child. Dad joke. It's not, not funny, it was one for me. This is a really creative comb over. I always wonder, don't you see this? Don't you see that, that it's not okay? If you look in the mirror and you say, I have all my hair, I look okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Let's go to number eight. <laughs> this is a little bit worse. Don't comb it from the back to the front. I still have a little hair. On the front, I will use braids because, yeah, if you use braids, it will not show that I'm bold. Mission failed. Do you want to look cool? Do you like this? Or I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. It's strange. Strange looking. So let's go to number seven. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is really cool one. First of all, it's very creative. A lot of time taking this hairstyle. Uh, because you see a pattern in this, this kind of hairstyle. It's really nicely combed to the front and evenly taking all these sections. And it's also in the middle, a small split. But doesn't it remind you of something? Look closely to the picture. Doesn't, re doesn't it remind you of something? 
Don't you see it? Bam! <laughs> it's really like a barcode. I I'm wondering if it's gel that they are using because it has to be powered for uh, for the wind or it has to be with wax or, or with clay or I don't know. What kind of products do you use to to create this uh, kind of uh, barcode style? I'm, I'm wondering if you go to the supermarket and you put your head on the scanner, will it beep? Let's go to number six. <laughs> what happens? On some point, you have, if you use a comb over, then you have to let the sides grow to have a certain length to comb the cover the whole thing up. So it has to be long length to switch it over. This happens if it's not long enough. Don't you see that? Wouldn't it be okay because the other side is also long? Wouldn't it be an idea uh, to comb the both sides to the top? and put it straight or something, or, or wave it in each other. I always want to be there in the morning. No, I don't want to be there in the morning. But I always want to see the people watching in the mirror and saying, Mmm, my hairstyle is looking good. Nope. If you have enough length and you cover it up, at some point you can say, Okay, you're covering it. Please take it all off. This is horrible. This is really horrible, but look, the second one is really happy with his hairstyle. Look, he's looking at, the, at yeah. Let's go to number five. <laughs> what happens? Imagine, what happens? Combing the sides over. You have short in length. Then you can decide to use the back. Let it grow and use the back and comb it to the front. I want to see that kind of hair if it's not sticky to the front, if it's just laying back. I'm wondering how long is his hair? It has to be very long because if, if you take this length from here, it's like to be 20, 30 centimeters. Oh, in, uh, in America you say inches. I don't know how much inches it is. It's long. I'm having nightmares. Of, uh, of this kind of things. Number four! Let's say I have a comb over, but I don't want to have a regular comb over. I want to have a comb over with a twist, with a curly twist. This is the curly twist. I want to take it, comb it, and okay. I have a really creative comb over. I think it, it's, it's like the hairstyle you had uh, when you are younger. And you still want to have the same, maybe he had a really nice hairstyle with a, with a curly twist in the front and he still want to hold on to that hairstyle. But no, it's wrong! Don't do that! It's funny though, this is number four. We're coming close to the number three. And I really know I, I made the top ten. You see this one with a twist. But number three is even more creative. With a curly twist. Wanna see this? But what do you think about that? This is nice. This is this is art. You saw the person that taking his hair from the back to the front. So this is the same one. This is the same one. You're taking the hair from the back to the front. And with a curly twist. Nice. I'm wondering how much time you spent in, in the mirror in the morning to create this one. Let's go to number two. Bam! We had already the comb over from the side. If you don't have enough hair on the side, let's take it from the back. But what happens if you don't have enough hair on the side and on the back? Let's grow your beard. It has to be very long. You take your beard and you comb it all over the side. Problem solved. I have to think about this one. Maybe I have to do it like this. I let my beard grow and then decide to comb it over. Or I take my beard in two sections and comb it on the both sides. This is creative. 
I never, never, never saw a person doing that. Also, extra points for in the winter, you have warm ears. Think about that. But, are you ready to see the number one? I can tell you now, the number one is not the most horrible one, but it's the most famous one. Wanna see it? Yes, of course! <laughs> Donald Trump, the most famous, this is the most famous comb over in the world. You have to put some gel or wax to make sure that it stays in one place and this is what happens if the wind gets in your hair. Please cut this man's hair. I have a hairstyle in my mind for him. Let's see this one. This is a dream of every hairstylist, of every barber, to do a haircut like this. But it's a dream. I don't think he has enough hair. But look at him. It's more stylish. It's more presidential. He has a system to put his hair in this kind of style. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is... Let's take a closer look. There are four steps to do his hair. First of all, you take one section here, one section, and you comb it in this direction. Then you put this section and put it on top. You have two layers, so you don't see you're getting bald. First section like this, sec second section like this. Then, then you have the crown area that has to be covered. Okay, this one, you comb it over the crown area. And then the sides on the back. This is the hairstyle of Donald Trump. Presidential comb over. This is number one, ladies and gentlemen. Was it the worst one? No. But it's definitely the most famous one. If you see this video and you have a comb over, look at yourself in the mirror and be honest. And look at yourself. Is it easy? No, it's not easy. At first you will not be happy with it. So please a comment down below to give your top 3 worst comb overs. Oh, so if you say, oh no, 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 number 8 was my worst one. So put your number 3 in the, co in the comments here down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. Subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell so you know we have a new video. Want to see more hair fails? Please subscribe. I already said it, but it's really important for me. So I know I have to make new videos. and. In the future, I also want to give you some hair tips. If you have curly hair, uh, you want to have tips for greasy hair. So I will give you all the tips I need in next videos. Uh, and of course, I'm going to make some hair fail compilations because I know you like this one. So for me, I'm just saying for now, ciao kus!